Hi, I'm Jeff Gonzalez, president of Trident Concepts, and today I'm here with Brownell's Daily Defense to talk to you about ankle carry for concealment. All right, as the name implies, ankle carry means that I'm placing the firearm down on my ankle. So let's talk about a couple things that you might want to consider if this is going to be something that you explore. First, I talk about ankle carry is an option for folks who have certain restrictions in their wardrobe or restrictions in their environments. It is a viable option. And again, as I said, if, if this is the only way for you to carry a firearm, well then obviously it's the best way to carry a firearm. That being said, the first thing I talk about is the handgun size. And unlike any of the other positions that we may carry a firearm, it really matters here because of the weight. After a while, the weight starts to wear on you. So I recommend that you try to go with a light, small framed firearm simply because ounces to pounds. Once you've selected a handgun size, the next thing we need to talk about is the holster type. There's really only two types. There's the actual scabbard that is typically applied or typically attached to some sort of strap. And then there's more of like a, a sock feature that you pull up and over that has a pouch that you can place the firearm. Hands down, the most popular is going to be the scabbard type. Now, the next thing you need to decide on is, do I want it to have a retention strap or do I want it to be open top? And I will tell you that the best way to answer that is your activity level. If you intend on running around, jumping over obstacles and maybe chasing people, then you're definitely gonna to wanna to look at a holster that comes with a retention strap. If not, or if the activity is probably gonna be no more than light activity, then the open top is probably gonna do a good job as long as you choose the right holster model for the firearm that you have. The next thing we talk about is, because most of the time you're gonna be drawn from a standing position, one of the things that's gonna be very critical is your flexibility. So not every body type is going to work well with a ankle carry. Um, most of the time what I recommend is that if you can lift your leg up and touch your knee and hold it there for a few seconds, then you probably are gonna be okay. The next thing we talk about is going to be when you choose an ankle holster, the draw stroke is going to fix you in a position. So you're gonna lose your mobility. And that's one of the major downsides to an ankle carry is that if I need to move, but I need to draw my firearm, I'm gonna to have to choose one or the other. I won't really be able to do one, I won't really be able to do both of them well. The next thing we talk about is location. So if I am a right-handed shooter, that means my strong side is on my right side. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take the firearm and the holster and carry it on my weak side leg. So as opposed to carrying everything on my strong side when I normally carry around my hip, I'm actually gonna carry on my weak side. The other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the firearm from the outboard side of my body to the inboard side. And that seems a little counterintuitive, but what we're doing there is we're, we're covering two things. Number one, we are reducing the actual profile. So instead of the ankle holster kind of sticking out on the outside of my body, it's gonna be on the inside. And as we walk, normally we don't pay attention to what's happening in between our legs or in between our ankles. We'll see things more um, poking out on the outside more than we will on the inside. The second thing is that helps us to avoid banging it into things uh, as we walk around our day. Since it's gonna be on the outside, it's gonna protrude out a little bit further and it stands the risk of being banged into things more than anything. The next thing we talk about is our draw stroke technique. And here's where you really gotta think about how you're gonna do this. But most likely you're gonna to have to practice all of these techniques. So one of the things that we talk about is, all right, I need to draw the firearm from a standing position. What I'm gonna do is I have three choices. The first choice is that I can bend all the way over, lift my pant legs up with both hands, acquire fire and grip, draw back to a standing position to engage the target. So as you can imagine, that takes some time. Another option is for you to take a knee. So the way that I would do that is I would take a step forward with my weak leg, dropping down to a knee on my strong leg. When I do that, use both hands, raise my pant legs up, acquire fire and grip, draw, stay in the kneeling position. So one of the things that that does is that offers me the ability to quickly re-engage the target without having to stand back up. Then of course, the next technique would be to take that step with my weak leg, step down to a kneeling position on my strong leg, and then pull the pant legs up with both hands, fire and grip, go to town, but I stand back up. Another method that I typically do not recommend is for you to stand up, lift your leg all the way up, and as you do, go ahead and pull the pant legs up with both hands, grab the gun, draw, place your foot back on the ground and then engage the target. So that one requires a lot more flexibility and balance. And to be honest, 
I just find it very hard for you to do consistently. And that's the key. Whatever draw stroke technique you are going to choose, you have to be consistent with it. Now, one of the other advantages that we talk about from an ankle holster position is your ability to reach it when you're in a seated position. So if you find yourself in a seated position on a regular basis, so all day in your office, you commute quite a bit, or meals and all the other things that you might do seating, you find that from a seated position, it's actually pretty quick to get to my pistol and get it out on target. So from a seated position, I actually have access to my ankle holster pretty quick like. So that's something that you might want to consider as you look into your um, options. Now, some, some common mistakes that we see is choosing the wrong firearm. If you choose a firearm that's super heavy, um, not super heavy, but it's heavier, what you're gonna find is after a while, that weight, that dead weight on your ankle is gonna to start to annoy you. And then you're gonna to start to do a lot of fidgeting and adjusting. And just like carrying on our hip, we wanna avoid that at all cost. The next thing that we see is when I don't carry it in the right position. So if I carry it so that the firearm is on the outboard side of my body, I'm gonna run the, run the risk of banging up against things. And then the third mistake that we typically see is choosing a poor draw stroke technique. My recommendation is either gonna to be to take that knee, shoot from a kneeling, take that knee, or stand back up. Pick one of those two or practice both of them and you're probably gonna cover all the bases as far as your um, requirements to draw from an ankle holster. So I carry in an ankle holster probably not as much as, as some people that use it as a primary means of carrying their firearm, but I carry it enough to see the value of it and want to continue to practice it because of said value. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them down below. I'm Jeff Gonzalez. Until then, take care and stay safe.